we are well, back for some more uh, Band of Blades. Uh, our scout has just returned after a harrowing adventure. Um, yeah, what do you what do you tell us about uh, this, this scouting mission? In the accent. Uh, yeah, I I, def <laughs> I say that like I how many so you said it was surrounded by what do we call them crows is that what we call them? Mm -hmm. Well, you can you you tell me what do you call them? Right. Um. Yeah. So I say. The the wait. This is the blighter too, right? Let's make sure I get it right. Yeah. 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 The blighter has got crows everywhere. But, and I, I dust myself off, and I'm all like bloody, and I cough, and like, <clears throat> but nothing a Zimyati couldn't handle. As I get ready to go back and just hmm. go grab a deep drink of wine or something from my skin. Nice. All right. Well, um, yeah. So, um, go so what do you recommend? Uh, just, just I hate to jump in, but what do you recommend as the approach, Scout? Like, because the yeah, that's, was, um, and then I was about to ask that actually, uh, but take yes. it away. I'll yeah. just lean back. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Kiara. What, uh, what's the best way in? And uh, I, so I pull out the map and I, I, I show a couple different options. And I go, uh, well, this is the way that I went the first time. And well, it doesn't it seems that there are a couple of blind spots this way. Getting out is not as easy as getting in. Isn't and, that uh, always the case? Yeah. And uh, I mean, is there an and I guess there's an option, another way that's probably more direct um, that I could say, like, you know, we can take the, 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 it's, can I just make up a name of a river or something like that, right? Like the, uh, uh, we could go up the banks of the Aldermans and, and cut over here at the, you know, and, and, and sneak in behind, but we would be losing a lot of time by going around. Time's not something we have much of. All right. Mm -hmm. It's risky, but I say we follow your tracks. Very well. Cool. Uh, so are you folks going to try a group scout to get in? Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, I think so. Yeah. All right. Who's leading? Um. Yeah, I'll lead. It shouldn't be me. <laughs> I'm the officer. I'll lead. Okay. Sounds great. Um, so I guess, uh, Jinja, you're going to be our de facto scout. Uh, so, uh, feel free to roll, um, scout on behalf of all the scouts or, uh, my bad, <laughs> you're be our de facto rookie. Uh -huh. so you're going to roll scout on behalf of all the rookies. There we go. That's much more sensible. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm rolling straight, like, uh, like risky straight through risky yep. standard. Yep. <clears throat> The rookies totally give you a stress, Kelsa. Great. Great. That's what I'm here for. Uh, it's taking stress. Wait. Did I just do resist with insight? No, that was yep. a while ago. Yes, you did. Yep. But that, that, was, that was your last roll, yeah? That was before break. Sweet. We do it. Now, do I take another stress? No, oh, you take you another You do. Break. Because... <sighs> Eric and Dice are not getting along today. Cool. Dice, I swear to God. Um, actually, I just realized that uh, I am this character is actually injured, uh, which would have put me at lesser effect. Oh yeah. Well, I, I rolled. I rolled. I rolled the same thing. Uh, I rolled. I rolled one too many dice, but it doesn't matter. I rolled the same identical number. Right, but the the difference is the effect, and I was the one that succeeded. So. Uh, I, I think we'll be fine. Okay. Um, in particular, uh, are, you, are you sure you're still injured? Uh, maybe not. Uh, it's been like two Did, this was, mission this cycles. Was, That's why I'm a little... Um, the officer got injured doing the secondary mission last week. Oh. But I think yes. we, we did um, a healing 
uh or no no we what did we do last week uh you you didn't because you pushed ahead because i think you you thought you had sufficient uh, yeah 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 we did not you're right you're right because i had mm. yeah Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, I don't have any special notes on what your downtime actions are. I suppose we'll check the vods next time. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but you should you should still be okay as okay. a group. You have enough. In fact, uh, you know, <clears throat> you're leading the action. You pull some people out of the fire. Um, okay. So so tell me what this looks like. Uh, like, obviously the scout and the rookies are going to get in jeopardy, and somehow you're going to like make the situation flow. Um, and by the way, what I'm thinking is that this allows you to get over the wall and into the main grounds and like out towards the keep. And we'll talk about which way you're entering the keep after that. Uh, I, I think like, um, like it cuts to like uh, the, what is it? There's, there's five rookies and then two officers, like the seven of us winding through the woods. Um, and like at one point, like um, Karia is like technically at the front of the group, but like at one point, like, uh, she she stumbles due to her injuries and goat like grabs her and keeps her from from falling over, uh, and then like they get to the they get to the wall, um, and we see basically just goats sitting there at the top of the wall like handing people up and over, um, and that's where where's where his stress really comes from, um, and like he's sitting there sweating as he's like the only one sitting on the top of the wall for an extended period of time. And he's just like looking over his shoulder constantly, just absolutely sure that uh, one of the crows is going to spot him any second. So I think that there's probably like you sweating, lifting people up, and, and then like a shot of like one of the crows like run, 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 and leap into like another rooftop, run, 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 and leap into another rooftop. And then it's like you sweating, pulling people up, and then, uh, you know, a shot of the crow basically being like, Whoa! and then there's nothing there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so let's have a let's have a quick talk about the setup. Uh, as you guys, uh, I assume that you folks are headed, uh, like you're inside the manor grounds at this point, and there's no roll to get to one of the buildings here, because there's nothing in your way. There's no rotters on the main grounds. There's no snipers watching you or anything like that. Um, but there is the 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 manor keep, which is where the artwork is presumably held and there mm -hmm. is um uh, there is a, a a storage unit um that you folks were thinking about uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you kind of like what the commander may have known the commander may have been like all right so there are like aged barrel casks in the basement and if you can steal some like whiskeys or wines etc that's probably some more supplies uh, so those are those are kind of the two things that you have as your primary objectives, right? Like get artwork, get booze, get out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, which which way are you going? Are you splitting the team up? You're you're in charge, Kelsey, because good um, people is leading. I feel like artwork is going to be easier to carry than the booze. Okay. So, like, make a loop, grab the artwork, grab the booze, GTFO. Sounds great. So. Um, your scout has fine maps of the area, and uh, uh, Eric, your your um, Karia knows that there are um, that the artwork is held on the second floor of this building. So mm. I guess what I'm asking is, what is your guy guys's approach? Like, how are you how are you getting in? Are you trying to find a place to clamber in and like smash a window, or <clears throat> are you uh, using the main door, etc.? I. I like the idea of just uh, like doing a, a human ladder up to a second story window um, and, and jumping in that way. If you know what's on the second floor, yeah, there's no way for us to like jump from another building to this one. No, not really. I mean, it's a yeah. big manor house. Like I, I want you to think like some sort of victorian mansion with two wings kind of thing i mean right? then like is it's... there a chance there's like a, a balcony with like a like some dutch do double doors that open out yeah. onto it on the second story uh, there that can totally to? be a balcony that you folks can clamber up to um that sounds like a pretty good staging point 
Yep. So you're trying to get seven soldiers with weapons up to a second floor balcony and sort of like use it as a staging point. Um, can, can I get a controlled maneuver, maybe even a group maneuver? Like, sure. how are you folks doing this? Does somebody want to clamber up and then drop a rope for people? What, what does this look like? Mm-hmm. I have uh, two in maneuver. I, I could get up there and just throw a rope down. Do you volunteer, Ricky? <laughs> uh, More Ryan? like voluntold. Uh, well, well, yeah <laughs> she's just kind of standing in the back with rope looking around yeah <laughs> red get up there oh right right uh she just puts her hands up she's trying to figure out the best way to get up there <laughs> <laughs> uh so it's gonna be you said controlled yeah and standard yeah awesome so i'm gonna uh you do it, but there is a minor consequence. Uh, so let me, actually, let me double check my, I wanna short you your result here. Uh, you're gonna end up in a risky position. That's what's gonna happen. So um, you you basically uh, go up real fast, right? Like your, 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 your maneuver is pretty good. Apparently you're, you're good at climbing. What did you do before you became a legionnaire, uh, mm. Lotus? Were you like, a thief or or it's just rock climbing a cobby uh she likes to think that uh pre-parkour uh oh, she could like clamber up things and she uh when her growing up she wasn't really she kind of like moved from city to city she didn't really stay in any one okay place. so she's gotten pretty good at like you know if she's walking on a road and sees people and doesn't want to be seen good at like running and hiding and you know kind of maneuvering a little bit so she's kind of She's agile when she needs to be, but then she'll be walking in line behind the troops trying to stay quiet and trip over nothing. So it's it's hit or miss with her. <laughs> uh, mm. So, yeah, I, I think you're going to get up there. What does that look like? Do you, do you actually do some parkour? Do you clamber up, like, one of those, like, Grecian-looking old empire columns and then, like, leap up there and, and tie off a rope and drop it? Like, what is... What is if, if we're watching you in a movie, what does it look like? Uh, I'm picturing like, Mulan when she's trying to get to the top, but it's one of the first times that she tries, and she's like, and I've got this, and I've got this, and just slides all the way back down. She's like, my hands are, hands are a little wet. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just tries, and she's just using the rope to get up. And then once she gets close enough, she pulls the rope and just, like, latches it on and kind of climbs back up. Awesome. Uh, so you, uh, who do you send up first, officer? Um, I think the next person up is, um, uh, probably Karia. Yeah. And then, uh, the rest of the rookies, and then I'll take the, I'll take the rear. Awesome. Um, so I, I, I think that there's this, this moment where, um, uh, Karia and one of the other rookies, which, uh, Marshall, you're going to tell me who it is. Mm -hmm. uh, are up on the balcony and the rest of the people are like testing the rope and getting ready to climb up and it's all looking good when uh, you realize that there's like these double doors and they've got like glass insets which is fairly expensive actually here mm -hmm. um, and as you look through them there's like a hallway leading left and right and you can see kind of like the long hallway that that leads towards the area where you folks think the the gallery is and as you uh, as you peer through the doors like three people are up and then you see something shamble into the hallway and like turn around and then turn all the way around and then it starts shambling towards the door. So like there's there's some undead and they're coming through the doors and they've spotted you folks and they're coming down that way. So what do you folks want to do? They're like a little ways off. So it's not like they're on top of you chewing your shoulders or anything yet, but they come in. Red, you're at the top. Uh, Karia, you're at the top. There's like one other rookie. She would, uh, Red would just be trying to help and she's just like, and just duck behind a wall. <laughs> but you said they've already spotted us, right? Uh, yes, it looks like it. Okay. No, uh, I okay. mean, the rookie totally can do that and hope that they'll <laughs> either come out and they'll get jumped or something, but she's. I wanted to do something stupid, but it's definitely going to jeopardize the mission. It's not worth it. <laughs> I was yeah. going to say, she opens a map like, this isn't... Hmm. 
Hmm. Just like shoot. Just no, I'm like shoot. <laughs> and just, yeah, uses herself as bait, and she's just like, this isn't, this isn't where I supposed to be. <laughs> uh, you can totally do that. Um, mm. Mm. I don't well, think that's gonna work. I think she's just gonna uh, duck out of the way. I think she would just. Oh, hide. I see. You want to try and confuse the undead and be like. <laughs> Hello, which way is the bathroom? <laughs> Could you direct me to the correct tower? <laughs> which turn was I supposed to take to Albuquerque? Uh, There's nice. a map right here. <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, yeah, I think she would just duck out of the way, to be honest. I think she just doesn't want to be in the way or be a nuisance. And she's probably look, standing right in front of the door. We need to intercept them before they tell anybody. So... I know what I'm I would do, battered. but I'm not up there. I'm battered, so like I really need you to do this. So I'm like looking at you, like do it, like shoot them, and like uh, I can help you, right? But I need you to do this. How many are there? The problem is uh, she doesn't have a gun. Let me, let sure, me I do. Away. I have a rifle. I just don't have a pistol. Oh, okay. I thought you just yeah, brought the gun. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's there's there's a fair number. There's like. Uh, there's three of them, and there's this this weird figure in the back. It doesn't look like any troop you've ever seen. Um, it looks like a person that they, that like they've drowned for a long time, so their like flesh is like puffed up and bloated, and their eyes are sewn shut, as are their mouths, and their hands are attached to them, and they're kind of like waddling behind this unit towards you in a very like discombobulated, like not perfectly like most of the robbers. Yeah. Well, the rotters are shambling, but they're shambling with purpose. They're like, ah, uh, right? Like, this thing is, like, uh. almost struggling, like, sort of, like, roiling towards you. You've never seen anything like this before. Yeah. Um, so maybe? she'll she'll stand behind the door and then uh, look over uh, to the scout and hold up two items. Like, which hand? It's her rifle and the grenade that he gave her. <laughs> I pointed the grenade. The grenade? Yeah. She's like... And just mm-hmm. chucks it in after. <laughs> yep. Uh, so I think this is a control wreck. Because uh, the, the consequences of this are, are I'm going to make a clock and you're going to be under risk because everyone's going to know where you are. Um, but I don't think you're going to take harm, right? Like you're chucking a grenade in through a glass door. It's going to go bouncing down the hallway. There's going to be an explosion, but this is not like... 30 pounds of C4, it's a, it's like one small grenade, right? So, yeah. so control wreck is what I'm thinking. And then standard? Yep. Okay. There you go. I like to think See, she's there like, you go. I've a grenade before. And she throws it <laughs> through the glass and then goes like this because she doesn't know what to expect. <laughs> uh, so there is a, 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 there's actually a much larger explosion than you anticipate. So like, I imagine that you throw it in and like you, take a step back behind the wall and do exactly like you described. Um, but the grenade goes off. It's going to completely shatter all the rotters. And like when it goes off, there's this kind of like, like it's, it's just like a dull thud inside the building. Um, and, and like the windows crack and then there's a secondary explosion. And that explosion blows out all the windows. So when you look inside, you see that there's this like, billowing greenish cloud and there's this like this liquid like hits all the walls and the windows and you hear this and it it basically like eats through the material um you're fine there are no consequences uh but you know that if you were anywhere near that section you would have been covered in whatever roiling chemical goo just hit everything uh she knows she messed up on the last mission, or at least was in a precarious situation in the last mission. And she's just holding a rifle in the other hand still. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> looking for validation. And like, that's when like the next uh, recruit makes it to the top. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to come up here. <laughs> you know, what was that? Yeah. Uh, so you, you folks look around and there's no crows coming. There's no additional troops. Uh, but fictionally, there is a noise, so I'm going to like create an alert clock for you folks and just put it down. Is that cool? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. All right. Um, there is. I mean, I assume that you're hoofing it. Uh, I assume that you're not doing anything incredibly stupid. Like you're just 
clearing corners and everyone's moving information or whatever. Mm -hmm. Tell me if that's not true, Kelsa. Oh, yeah, that's definitely true. Um, In which case, I don't think that there is going to be an obstacle between here and the hallway with the art. Mm -hmm. Just tell me if there's anything else you want to do, if there's any other stuff that you want to, like, give orders for, like, you've got, like, 30 seconds to a minute before you folks, like, file into that, that art area so just tell me tell me if there's anything special that i need to account for aside from just going there mm, i don't think so all right cool in which case uh we're just gonna jump to that um i, I think that there's just like it, it's a it's a it's a hallway with kind of like a, a larger room <clears throat> And along the walls, there's arc alcoves, so you'll see like statues and suits of armor and that kind of stuff inset. Um, there are some paintings and and such on the walls, and there is a glass case containing uh, two spears and some armor, like in the glass case, like in sort of that like larger display area. And there's also cabinets with glass, and there's like helmets and weapons and medals and like little statuettes and stuff like that, like displayed all throughout. Um, but as you folks like kind of like like are, are 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 set up around the doors and then somebody like breaches right like they kick open a door and like pop in uh there is a pack of rotters and there is uh mm. there is a crow and there are two more of those like weird sewn up critters um uh, all right um but you've got your whole squad here you're armed and they're not like on top of you and they're, uh... they're in this room with the art yes they're in the room with the art. Um, and, I, I wanna, oh, they're in the room with the art. Shit. The problem okay. is we don't want those things to explode and get their we, weird green goo on the art. Yeah. Aha, now you understand the difficulty. Uh... Shit, I have to use my bow and arrow. You can use me as bait. <laughs> I mean, the question is, we don't know if we hit them with black shot, if they're still going to explode into the green goo or not, or if they're going to go up in, in magical smoke. You don't, do you, you don't... have do you have research? Uh, do I have research? That's a good question. Uh, no, I don't. Wait, I, you know who does? I do. Yep. Perhaps you may you may roll some research. What's my devil's bargain? Uh, this this is not a <laughs> this is a gather information check. There is no such thing. Good yeah, try. But I'm looking at five stress right now, and I want <laughs> and, and, and two harm. I want to. I I need to ask. That's fair. <laughs> It's it's All not right. a it's not a roll with a position, so devil's bargains are not applicable. Okay, uh, then this is just a research roll. I mean, everyone who wants to take some bets, two, one as the roll answer. Two, you come I on! Three. Oh, three. oh, so close! Oh, hey, you have, you have no idea. You've it's never seen dice. this thing before. You, oh. you haven't read any papers on it. You can't even theorize. Dang! Look, count out Karia for anything. Okay, this is insane. <laughs> there is one grenade remaining, but I don't know. That will Look. definitely do damage. So there's no way I would know this to be true as a player. But nope. I want you guys to know this, that as a scout, I can scrounge for supplies. Um, so if we wanted to just waste this whole room and get some supplies... What if we lead them out, lure them out of the room? That's what I was thinking, actually. Like two of us wait behind the door. You guys lure them out and fight them in the hall or like kind of keep backing up and pulling them. And then we just go in and start stealing stuff. Uh, Yeah, actually, I, I kind of like that plan. Like um, we see them and like I'm going to I'm going to gesture like uh, to a couple of the scouts, um, the, the NPC scouts. Uh, now you have me doing it, Strauss. Uh, the okay. NPC yeah, uh, I, I recruits. <laughs> it is my fault. <laughs> I start the blame. <laughs> um, uh, like I just heard a couple of the NPC recruits, like basically, you know, stay out of line of sight as soon as they clear the door, get in, get the stuff, get out. Um, and the rest of us, we're going to try to draw them out and down the hall. Awesome. So – uh, I need a scout roll, one die for the rookies that are remaining behind, because I believe one of them is not Lotus. Is that correct? Yeah, neither one of them are Lotus. Excellent. Uh, so I'm sorry. What did you say for position? Risky. Uh, yeah. This is basically their. Could we find a hiding spot, and how well are we hidden position? 
They're just standing in the middle of the hall. They're not even against the wall. <laughs> uh, it depends on how they roll. No. Well, it would have been the first, it, it would have been just 1D, but it's fine. You're, oh, sorry. It's okay. It's still a six. Uh, so I think your rookies totally like hide in a bedroom or like find a closet and close the doors or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, just retconning, I was going to say like when you breach, right? Like you kick the door open, you roll out and you see these things. I, I'm just going to retcon that, you know, you click the door open, you peer it in, you close the door, you came up with a plan. Um, all right. So how are you luring these things out and past them? You just run in and go, woo, or like what? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, pretty much. I think, um, no. You know what? No. Uh, I, I want to, like, be, um, I, I want to be a, uh, like, kind of a badass. I, I want to just do, like, the one-liner where, like, I, like, slam open the doors and, and I just uh, like point like at the crow and be like, like, um, you're mine. And then like pretend like everyone else like pulls me backwards uh, at which point. But like I'm I'm like ready for them uh, trying to basically force them to come out into our trap. Like I'm, I'm trying to bait them. Uh cool so let me get this straight you're gonna like slide in point at something have a bunch of people pull you out and you're hoping that they're gonna come rushing out of that and 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 like around a corner yeah and then we're, we're just gonna and then you're gonna keep retreating and they're gonna come past you and the rookies are gonna run in is that what i'm hearing yeah yeah okay all right um so This is usually like a discipline role, I think, because you're yeah. you're trying to command or intimidate or like bully someone into doing a thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, do you do you have like a different like sway might work? Um, I'm I'm the, I'm the same with discipline and sway. So, uh, but it, it flavors things. It so tells us a little bit. About I I do think it's more. Yeah. I do think it's more discipline. I think it's more like. A command of of come at me bro do, do you like fire a shot with a pistol at them just to make them believe that you're gonna end them all or whatever yeah yeah totally mm. Sounds okay good. all right uh this is a risky discipline role sure um hmm. what's my effect my, what's my uh what's my effect limited and i'll tell you why okay. it's because you'll get some of them but not all of them okay uh i do have a fine pistol and i don't know if that would um bump it up to standard um based on the the quality of that and it is uh it does have black shot um, um but my goal with this shot this first shot is not to like kill anyone it's to to get their attention and to to draw their ire Mm. yeah okay um i i will i will warn you ahead of time that a four to five consequence is probably going to be a drop down to limited again okay right so like if you um, roll a six it'll be great if you don't roll a six you're probably going to get some of them but not all of them is, is gotcha. that fair i think that's fair like um, you start at standard but it might it might right. not quite work out so okay. uh i also have the injury of exhaustion which will put it back down to limited and then i'm going to push myself for effect to bring it back up to standard wow okay <laughs> this, is uh, how it, this is how it goes uh i don't think you're i don't think your exhaustions yeah okay i mean if you say my exhaustion's not going to apply then i'll push myself and make it great instead no i, I think i think your exhaustions i think your exhaustion is going to apply I'm, I'm thinking like well when when else would it apply and this is this is actually appropriate yeah you're just you're tired. You've been marching for a day and a half, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, you're you're gonna go in hot. I just climbed up a, a a rope. I don't think I've done that in a while. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Um, is there a devil's bargain I could take? Uh, I can tell you one. 
I'm not sure you're gonna like it, which is uh, <laughs> you can you can linger for a while. So like nobody else is necessarily gonna need to make a roll, but you're probably gonna need to make some sort of maneuver roll because you're like staying behind or like pulling the ire. They're gonna get a lot closer to you than they are to everyone else. Mm, yeah, I'm okay with that. All right. I'm, I'm definitely okay with that. Let's go. Wow. Well, thanks. That's where that's what I needed right there. Oh yeah. Great. Brilliant. <sighs> well, um No, it's fine. It's it's totally fine. Um so I think you you know, you you bust in uh, like like you guys peer in through the door and you see them like milling about. You close the door and you're like, "All right, this is the plan. You two hide." I'm going to go in. I'm going to shoot someone and, and then we're going to pull them back. You guys set up back in the corridor. I'm going to lead them back in. It's going to be great. Okay, everyone cool. Let's do this. And you open the door and there is two consequences. The first consequence is that you see the crow that was commanding this unit mm -hmm. jumping towards a window and then jumping out of the window. So you know that that, that crow is going somewhere to tell someone something, but you don't know what. The other consequence is they heard the detonation from the earlier thing and the crow was giving them orders. So while you gave your troops orders, they all advanced. So you open the door and you get the pistol out and there's like all six or seven of them are surrounding you, including the like weird bound up monstrosities and they're on top of you. Mm, what do you yeah. do? I'm going to resist that. Which one? It's more important to not let the crow get away. Awesome. Um... So this is this is the consequence. This is the consequence of of basically like foresight and deception. It's almost like an ambush. So I I would say that this is an insight resist. But I mean, it is also the consequence of a of a social role. So I'd be okay with the resolve resist. I'd love it to be resolve resist. Go for it. Okay. Well, stress. I cannot take any more stress. I am filled up. Awesome. Mm. But uh, did not trauma yet. Uh, awesome. Unfortunately, that so, means they're on top of me. So so tell me, how do you stop the crow from getting away? Uh, Acute lead poisoning. <laughs> I, that's that's pretty much what I what I think. Like, yeah. Like the the plan was to get their attention. And I, I think that uh, immediately like I see like I want to intimidate them and taking out their leader sure is a good way to do that. So I will describe a really quick thing mm -hmm. and then you tell me if you want to tune it in any fashion. Uh, but sure. like uh, the thing that I want to describe is your pistol real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, most people have black powder weapons. So they're like breech loaded, like mm -hmm. standard basket style kind of stuff. Um, or I know how to do like weapon machining. So you don't exactly have like a proper multi-shot revolver, but you do have like like a machined pistol that actually has like bullets, right? Uh, so you you, you take go to, a go to Barton, uh, huh? Go to Barton. Uh, maybe a Barton, but the Legion has okay. equipment, right? So like you have a nice pistol that you bought, right? Yeah, it's a fine pistol. Exactly. Uh, so uh, most fine weapons in terms of mechanical stuff come from ore. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of the mm -hmm forged weapons that are fine will probably be Barton. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, the uh, this is just general. You could have picked up anything anywhere. It could just be like a really nice breech loaded pistol if you want that. But uh, you take a shot, right? And you like fire like two, three shots um, and you're, you're basically out of ammo and you're gone. You're surrounded by undead. But the first shot like blows open stone. The second shot maybe even like clips like the robes or whatever of this thing. So the first shot, like it's, it's on the windowsill ready to go. And then you like shatter that like mask that it has or something mm -hmm. and then it like whirls around and 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 you know you you put it in the shot in its area and it jumps down so like it's charging into the fray as much as everything else is but now you're surrounded by a bunch of undead what do you folks want to do yeah can i since i was behind the door can i jump out and try to get one of them with my knives uh you can uh, let's let's talk about objectives. Are you mm -hmm. trying to engage a squad of people in order to like kill some of them? Are you trying to merely defend your leader and drag them out? Are you trying to buy time? What are you, what are you trying to do? Uh, I mean, the only other thing I can think of, other than 
attacking them to save her, to like just kind of get them off of her and maybe like draw some of the attention. Because there's enough of us, we could each pull one away or two away and, you know, make it a little more even. Uh, the only other thing she could think of is grab whoever she can to get in the room and throw a grenade. <laughs> or be like, we have another one, like out, out of the room. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. So it sounds like you're trying to save your leader. You're not worried about your kill count and you're trying to fight like somewhat defensively. Are you like shoving the door in someone's face and like pulling the officer out of danger and like maybe stabbing a thing through the eye while trying to run away? Or are you uh, like- She wouldn't grab the officer because she feels like uh, oh. you maybe don't do that. <laughs> She's more like, uh, stab. <laughs> Just awesome. like, because she's behind the door waiting because like we were all gonna like ambush if they cool. came out. Uh, uh, so maybe just try to like pick one off. To all help. right. Uh, well, I have to tell you, this is, this is, this is risky limited, maybe desperate standard because you're putting yourself in the harm's way of a whole bunch of angry undead in close combat with nothing but knives. Mm -hmm. um, Could I shoot my... What I'm worried about is, are they close enough to the leader that he would get shot if I, if I took a shot? It certainly is risky, and a rifle is not a close, close engagement weapon. If you had a pistol, you could do it, but... <laughs> if only. I could throw my med kit at them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll try, the, I'll try the pistol, or the, the knives. Okay, cool. I so, don't want to shoot some <laughs> RTB. Uh, I'll tell you what, I mean, this can be a, a, if this is a desperate skirmish, you could potentially, like, get one and get your, your, your officer could scramble to safety while you're fighting, but the reason it's desperate is there's a shit ton of undead here. How many do I see? Um, I mean, not that many, actually, now that I'm, I'm being realistic. There's probably five rotters, two of those, like, tied up, sewn up things, and one crow. But it is seven v one, so isn't it like how close seven v one and a half? It is seven v one and a half. Yes. Okay. <laughs> how how close is everyone else to us? I know the two people are hiding. How close is the rest of our group? Well, uh, if two rookies are hiding and you're the rookie engaging, there are only two other rookies and the scout behind you. Wherever okay. scout is, yeah, Eric. Where would you be? Because I'm trying to determine, like, I'm not given orders, so typically I wouldn't so, act, but so I'm not just going to stand there like... Here's what I propose, uh, and, and Eric, since it's uh, since you're playing her, you can, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I figure, like, um, Red was hiding behind one door, mm -hmm. uh, and the plan was the two of us were going to duck down the hallway, one run one direction, drawing them that way, while you're actually standing at the far end of the, uh, of the ha hallway with your bow out, ready to pick them off. Um, as they went down the hall, um, we okay. led them to the other, the other sort of trap. That was a very critical point. I'm glad you brought it up. Yes, I would absolutely be. I was like, ah, I probably should. I was like, I'm not exactly sure where I, I would be, wherever you needed me to be, mm -hmm. as long as I'd be in a uh, good distance with this bow, because that's pretty much the only thing that's going to get me through this for the rest of this encounter. Because I am pretty much going to die. <laughs> if that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm on death. If this was darkest dungeon, I'm on death's door right now. Right. This is bad. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm all about it, Kelsa. That's a great idea. Great. Or we could run and you could be ready with a grenade. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's the opposite one. Um, so what, what would your order be for me? What would she know to do for... Uh, what was your priority for this mission? Is it, you know, make sure we get the stuff or run with you? What was I told before you, we opened the door? She just wants to follow orders. We want to get the stuff, which means we need to clear this room. Okay. And if that means just get them out um, and have them follow us, that's one way to do it. If we kill them all, that's another way to do it. Okay. So she would probably, uh, once you start, they start rushing you, she would probably run the direction that you told her to go, like down the hall, and turn and shoot with her rifle at, at sure. probably the crow, because he's probably organizing it. Okay. Which is uh, the, the most lethal at this point. Uh, so I'm gonna roll shoot, right? Sounds good. So you're you're trying to land some shots through the the opened door past your commander into the fray, right? Yeah. That is the final action. Excellent. That is shoot. Yeah, sure. And um, I'm going to say it's risky. Risky standard. Hey. That's success. That's success. Uh. So. 
that's the good news is that you're going to fire and you're going to hit something. So, um, uh, are you using black shot? Yes. Awesome. Um, I think that, well, let me, let me roll a thing real quick. Real worried about hitting your character kills. <laughs> I that appreciate that. Uh, this is not good for you. Um, uh -oh. All right, so I'll 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 tell you what the consequence is, and you can tell me how you stop yourself from doing it. Um, so you're firing into the fray, right? So there's like six undead about to devour your officer, and you you aim as best you can at the crow, and you take a shot. Now you do not have an all right sniper rifle right like this is not a, a, pre a precision engineered machine designed for like extremely well placed shots mm -hmm. so firing black shot into the pile which means you're probably going to hit whatever happens to be in the way of the bullet really and uh so you do it but you're going to tag one of the 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 tied bound up things and they're going to detonate explosion mummies you know yeah. as we call them damn it uh, I mean, you could be like, yep, that sure did happen. Or you could be like, uh, resist. Can I resist that? Sure. Yeah. Because, uh, um, you know, <laughs> paintings. <laughs> uh, it's the, it's the consequence of a physical action. So I think it would be a prowess resist. Um, that's even better. <laughs> hey, nice. Zero stress. Uh, Very no, nice. instead you're going to hit one of the undead that's literally got their claws on top of your officer and they're just going to go limp like a marionette with a strings cut when that green flame appears and they're just going to fall down. Mm -hmm. Cool. Officer, the thing that was about to chew your arm off just goes down. What are you doing? Uh, GTFO. Cool. Uh, Desperate maneuver? Standard? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Unfortunately, that makes it a desperate maneuver limited. Because I'm exhausted. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull away and I'm going to head towards the ambush point as best as I can. Um, Roll it. You're going to get part way. Someone's going to have to save you. That's okay. This is Blades. Six. <sighs> <laughs> or not. <laughs> I, see you, I mean, that's not a crit. I, I still... I no, still... no, no, no. You, you fall to the ground and you backpedal, right? And you see like... Yeah four of these things coming out into the hallway and you're booking down the hallway when, when i say booking i mean like you crawl you get to your feet you start running towards the end of the hallway but they're all filing out at like heavy speed uh you've got a rookie with a rifle in your way and you've got a sniper with a bow at the end of the hallway uh what are you folks doing i'm asking the rookie and the sniper because the officer's about halfway down the hallway with the undead hot on their trail she's gonna back up to where uh, where our scout is and try to take another shot at the same distance or like a good enough distance that it would be, you know, she's safe and not going to hit because obviously awesome on the ground. So I have a question for you and the scout. Uh, mm -hmm. Scout, how's your stress? Five out of six. Uh, you can, you guys can do this as an assist or you can do it as a group action because I'm assuming that you're just shooting into the hallway. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Uh, I'm picking off whatever's closest to the commander. Literally just physically creating a barrier, trying to keep them off. Cool. Preferably uh, not the explodey ones uh, until we're farther down the hall, maybe. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, do you want to assist me? Yeah, I have no stress right now. I feel great. Mm -hmm. Then if there you were, should, if there I, were I a should bottle, assist you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it that if way. If I'm taking the shots, you can look past me, and whatever I yeah. pick off, you can get the next one. Well, how many shoot do you have, uh, Red Flying Lotus? One. And how many shoot do you have, Katia? One. Yeah, then it, it doesn't matter which one also, of you. Also, I'm battered, and so it makes more sense for me to assist you rather than I deal with the uh, consequences. Yeah. She's down with that. She'll do whatever right. she's told. If you're like, hey, take another shot. She's like, all right. Cool. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, yeah uh, like I'm, I'm, I'm like, additional die, I'm right? like backpedaling yep. backwards, crawling. I just get up to my feet and I'm like, take the shot, take the goddamn shot. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, okay, same uh, risky standard. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> uh, you get a plus one D, so go ahead and just slash roll one D six, and it'll be fine. Okay, it's gonna be fine. 
Nope. That's not fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ouch. She didn't like you yelling at her. She got scared. <laughs> These dice. Ugh. She's like, yeah, I'm going to take the shot. You're like, take a shot. She's like. <laughs> okay. uh, actually, I think you make the shot. <clears throat> Uh, I, I think you make the shot. I think you 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 fire and you hit the undead that's closest to the the, the commander. Uh, you nail it. it. It acts like a marionette with its strings cut. And you see the the crow realizing that this is a kill corridor and it's a trap. It stops like instantly. So like the rest of the undead start moving forward, and then it just lifts its clawed hand and sort of like points down the corridor. And the 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 two shamblers with the like sewn up eyes and mouth they start twitching. And you hear the sound of hissing, like, coming out of, like, its eyes and its mouth. And you see its, like, midsection start glowing, and both are going to detonate. Commander's going to get wrecked, and that detonation is going to go out, like, the sides of the corridor. So, um, I think, yeah, I think you folks are all taking level two harm and level two corruption. Mm. And good news, it'll wipe out the remainder. Um, I got armor. armor. Um, yep. So that'll take it down to one. Um, and then I'll just take a second level one harm, and I'll, I, I'm okay with that consequence, uh, unless what somebody uh, has a really awesome way to resist this. Can I try to resist just the corruption? Absolutely, it's a resolve resist. Okay. If you had a reliquary, you'd get plus one D, but for right now, it's just a resolve resist. I don't have any points in that. <sighs> Uh, then you you can you can choose to say no. I do not want to do this. But if you yeah, do, we're doing it. <laughs> all right, bold Ricky is bold. Uh, actually, I've got four dice for a resolve resist. I'm not. I can't resist it. Uh, so I have bad news for you, Ginge. You take five stress. I think you're muted. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was talking to myself. They were expletives. Uh, that's fine. I that's fine. fine. I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> uh, are you still? Are you? Are you not? Trauma? I haven't had any stress yet. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. So zero corruption. Zero what level two. Real quick. No, uh, you're at six now because my assisting you gave you a stress. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I needed to. That's no, that's I'm not how that works. That. No, you take the no, stress. Assi assisting is you take a stress. They get the. They get the. Oh. Five. Yeah. Standard assist rules. Um, but yeah, the uh, uh, your your. You go to five stress, which is <laughs> close, right? Uh, and you take zero corruption, but you're going to take level two harm probably from just being thrown back and like bounced around and stuff like that without like the toxins don't get into your system. Okay. Uh, I want to, to go. I, I, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk a trauma here because I got four dice um, to right. resist this corruption because um, uh, Goat's already got one and we, we don't need more. So. All right. Don't fail me now, dice. <sighs> Zero stress, no corruption. GGs. Whew. All right. Uh, with my armor, I'll take this down to I don't know what what what, what we call um a partial of being exploded. Uh, I mean bruised and battered. Bruised and battered. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna have to. Oh, sorry. Sorry, real quick. The terms of the explosion is level one and level two harm, right? No, level two harm, level two corruption. Oh, okay. And the level two harm was what bruised? Yeah, battered and bruised. You're, I mean, I already have battered, so like, I want to make sure. <laughs> you can have bruised too. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. And one and two level two corruption. Uh, and level two corruption. Correct. All right. Take it. Awesome. Uh. So I I I think. Uh, I think that's that's. There's a detonation. You folks get thrown around. This this corrupted toxin gets spread everywhere. Your armor hisses, and you you have to take it off because it's like being burned through and everything. Uh, Kelsa, and uh, but aside from that, you survive. Uh, and that 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 squad of undead got vaporized because apparently they're not immune to this style of detonation it's not safe for them they can't like blow up but spare their own troops mm -hmm. uh but does the crow get away uh a sneaky but not that sneaky i will give him 1d6 
Oh man, can't see the crow anywhere. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I love that. <laughs> uh, like coughing after everything clears. Like, Gaia, did you see where where the crow go? Can you get him? I mean, I'm I'm looking around with an arrow knocked. Um, uh, give me a scout roll. Okay. Risky, risky standard. No, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a gather information check. Um, well, so just ignore it. Control standard is fine. Sure. Um, do, do, do my injuries factor into this? No, nah, you're just, you're just I like standing in the so. corridor, looking out of windows. Like yeah. you're, you're running around a little bit, but you're not, you're not. Okay, cool. I, I, I figured it, but like I could also see a case for it, so I wanted to ask you what you're. Absolutely. Good thing. question. Go ahead. Cool. Uh, five. Uh, so I'll tell you where the crow is. Uh, in my you, face. You, no, no. Okay. Uh, you totally look down the corridor. Nothing there. The other two rookies open their doors. They're like, "Are we good? <laughs> Did they move past?" Uh. Uh, uh, you know, you 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 inhale. You run through the smoke and everything. You 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 jump into the art area. Nothing there. You sprint down the hallway with you know your an arrow knocked. You're like. Tuk, 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 tuk. And you look around and you see that, remember the crow was trying to jump out of that one window and the glass was shattered. Mm -hmm. um, well, actually the glass was unshattered previous to this, but you see that it is broken. And as you step out, uh, you see that it's jumped down and it's starting to run across the grounds, but it's still in bow range. Take it out. <sighs> I mean, I gotta take it out, right? Risky shot, sir. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, Eric. And now, and now my harm does factor in here, right? Now your harm does factor in here, yeah. Uh, no, that's not really good at all, guys. Um, here's the thing. In order for me to have a single die here, I would have... Wait, so I'm actually at negative one die, first off, with wait. both my level two harms. No, no, you only take minus one penalty for having... Yeah. It's not Correct. It's not both. Correct. Oh, it's not both? Okay. No, it's, if, cool. that, if there is damage in that column, you get minus one. That's it. All right. Well, that means to do this, I have to literally, I have to trauma myself out. I have to. Or, I have to are you not a daredevil? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> the but, one time he... <laughs> if it was oh, desperate... Yeah. It is des... Okay. Oh, well, you know, I've got die. a great way to make it desperate. Yeah. No, it's, it's one die, though. Yeah. So, what do, yeah, what... Okay, tell me. Tell me what I have to do to make it desperate. You jump out the window, do a tumble roll, like, from the second story window... To, to take the shot. Oh, it's this like this like uh like a callback? Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, a yeah, callback. I love, I love it. Okay, let's do that. All right. Oh, so God. you go to desperate. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get this this shot. Now unfortunately you're jumping from a second story window. There is a devil's bargain on the table of taking level two falling damage. I'm just saying. You can get uh. an extra die. <laughs> Yeah, no, I am. I got it. I got to take that level. I got to. But if you've got two level harm, two level two harms already, that's going to be a level three harm. Yeah, but that's fine. <laughs> okay. I think. I think. I believe. I believe. All right. All right. Look, I'd rather take a level three harm right wait, wait, now. Wait, 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 wait. So no? just a just a just just a second here. Uh, don't you have uh? Aren't you tough or whatever? So I, that you're. I am tough. So your so injuries I, I... count as one. Lower, less. No, no, I just ignore level one harm penalty. Oh, it's just level one. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Okay. It's not quite as good as tenacious, which is a heavy ability. Right. Okay, that's it. Okay. So Eric, yeah, you 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 doing this? You gonna you gonna throw two bones? We could still let him go and just get out. No, I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna roll one bone. Okay. I think okay. I don't think I'm I don't think I can accept it. Uh, so I breathe out a, a little fatalistic curse. You know, I say something to the akin of uh, something about. Uh, fornicating with one's mother in, in Zimlati mm. and uh, and I do it. Pause. We should yeah. find out what the role is after a break. <gasps> okay, yeah, let's take a break. I, <laughs> it's been 